Sorry, we have to turn slowly because we don't have much electric charge. Okay, we need to be a little bit further north. Oh no, it's crashy again. I just want a little tangency with Leif. That looks good. And we have a safe periapsis. Alright. And it looks in line with everything. Perfect. Okay. We're going in. Yep, there they are. Okay, looks good. 0.2 degree difference with Tylo, but how about Lathe? Oh, that's still our target. Okay. Apparently not big enough. Okay, well. I'm gonna wait till Apoapsis and then pull that Periapsis in. Hopefully, we'll get something. That's not too bad right there already, to be honest. It's practically lethal orbit. Okay, anyway, we'll do that. That must be the leaf periapsis. Okay, 92 sounds good for now. Problem is, it's mostly water, and we absolutely need to set down on land somewhere. I'm tempted to just air break, but I don't think it's necessary. I mean, to capture. So, Lace Atmosphere is at 50 kilometers. We'll just try 40 ish. I can't see our orientation at all, but probably doesn't matter. Any old orientation will probably do. Okay, I think uh, we'll try and SAS that a bit. But it takes too much electric charge, though. It's gonna be a constant problem. Oh, we're coming down. Oh no! It's too much! No! I can't even see where we're gonna land. Okay, we're, we're going back up, but then we're going to come down on the nighttime side, so we're probably going to want to come down here instead. So, we're still in, sp we're in space now. Let me retrograde a bit. Well, Leif did suck us in a little bit more than I thought. I think we're still going to bounce and get too much to lift like this. I'd rather aim for over here and then end up gliding over there. I don't know. I'm gonna save. Not that save games necessarily work. Okay, so there's the Anaconda... Leaf... Leaf... Landing... Attempt. Okay, that's as many letters as we get. SAS. There's ever a time. Please don't run out of electric charge, though. Okay, here we go. Not too bad, though. But we're bouncing up into space again. <laughs> so that's a little bit rough. Well, more or less as planned. And our electric charge is running out. Maybe I'll take SAS off, so it uses less. Oh, oh, okay. Not that much. Okay, SAS, fine. Let's lightly run the jet engines to replenish electric charge. Last time I tried to land on the beaches of Lathe, didn't go super well. Oh, I'm in Fizz Warp. <laughs> no wonder it seems so fast. I can't 
see the land very well. Like, is it rocky? What's it like down there? There's some misty layer here. Doesn't look particularly inviting right now. Well, whatever, let's get the gear down. <gasps> no! Okay, well, that's a problem. Okay, so like... Maybe we'll drop the landing gear later. Is there any way to save this? I mean, I always have this landing gear deployment wing ripping off problem around Lathe anyway. Like some special problem. We're falling shorter this time. Well, I guess we'll land over here-ish then. I'm not used to it. When we transition from space into the atmosphere, I'm used to it going to 1x time warp immediately. But what it does is it actually goes to the top level of fizz warp instead. Or, you know, the 4x. And that's not the behavior I'm used to from KSP1, that's all. Well, we actually need to lose altitude quickly because otherwise we can't use the jet engines to replenish our electric charge. It's only a thin strip of land we're going for here. This seems bumpier. Maybe on this side. But I can't see a darn thing here. What's with these mists of lathe anyway? It looks like a landing strip. I don't know how slow we can go before we don't have enough lift. Getting off the runway on Kerbin was a, like 150 meters per second, but you're not as loaded now. I'm trying to not stress the wing too much. Okay, we're going 80 meters per second. Maybe we have both of our wings permanently. Maybe. Ground is bumpy though. Uh, I don't like this. There's a hill. Okay, brakes, brakes. I should have gotten the air brakes. Oh, cut the engines. Okay, um, this is not exactly a runway. <laughs> How are we going to get off of this? I propose we take this curve here and then we try and take off like that, but then that's the wrong direction. Well, it doesn't really matter where we're going prograde or retrograde around around Leith, right? I'm, I'm gonna deliberately let it slide backwards here. It's the safest thing to do, I think. We could take off in... I don't know if that's enough space, but we could take off in that direction. Oh, we could just curve around and go like that. Um, let's try this way. 
and try and hang a right. Okay. I'll have to activate it like this. Weak. Let's just cut there and coast a bit. Oh, that's uh, orbit for lathe. Okay, what the heck is the transfer window back from Jewel to Kerbin? Hmm. I don't remember. I have to look that up. It is 48 degrees. Uh, Kerbin is behind Jewel by 48 degrees. Do I dare turn to the tracking station or should I time warp with it here? Well, it's time warp restricted though. Okay, um, we're saving again. And we gotta find out whether time warping in the tracking station is gonna cause some problem. So far, so good though. Maybe we should evaluate this version of KSP a little bit better. Though I've had problems with the mock career playthrough thing. Let's see, tracking station. And it still has the problem where if you go, to, uh, if you add a vessel and then you go to the tracking station, it keeps the time warp the same as we had, the time warp restriction the same as we had with that vessel, even if we change focus. So we actually have to go to the space center and then go to the tracking station. That should be okay. Uh, so we'll wait uh, until Lathe is over here. Would be good. Just go right out. Uh, that's a bit off. This part is okay. That part isn't. It's a good deal, 1000. But uh, maybe we should do it as a two-step just to show that we can. I'm taking advantage of lace uh, gravity like this and getting there quick. Uh, the second maneuver never works. Um, but maybe we should just break orbit and then figure it out. Okay. We were victorious. Having landed on Lathe, but now we have other work to do. That that seems okay. Let's do that. Any encounter is better than no encounter. Okay, we're gonna do my course correction. Oop, okay. Uh, okay, that's the. Okay, okay, it looks okay. <laughs> it looks okay. Now we'll just figure it out when we get there. Okay. That seems fine. Let's continue. We have a whole 20 tons of hydrogen left. Okay, we definitely want this to be equatorial so that we can hit the KSC easier. So we are not going polar. 
Uh, I don't trust Kerbin to do this right, so we're gonna use our fuel to capture. And I guess I'll go for 100 kilometers here. Oop, that's probably a little bit higher than I wanted. Okay, capture burn. As we sure don't need the uh, fuel for anything else. Okay, we'll just come around and bring that further down. Okay, that's good enough. But we have to wait, the space center is in the dark. I don't have a whole lot of air breathing fuel to try and hit the space center accurately, we'll see. Okay, why are you doing that? Don't do that. Down, 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 down. Okay, I think that's a little bit too nose heavy. What are we doing? A little bit too far north as well. Guess the original balance was fine. Oh no, no, it wasn't. Okay, forget. It. I'll, I'll take the nose heavy. Um, and uh, start. No, push down, push down, push down, push down. Not violently. <laughs> Uh Oh, there's no RC... Uh, okay. Mm. There's no power, that's why. What a program, would you? Just on the verge of triumph, of course, this has to go crazy. Ah, uh, I don't need that camera change. I don't want to be upside down. Okay. That's better. No, we'll leave that be for now. Please start going down. Well, 80 meters per second is okay for the landing gear on lathe. Uh, not ripping the wing off. We'll try the same here. Okay, landing gear. Okay.
Brakes. All right, it's a miracle. <laughs> all right, yes, we did it. We have managed to go all the way to Leif surface and back with an SSTO. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.